I always reach from spiritual and angelic guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Gemini and this will be for the 15th to the 21st of March. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget though it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also remember time is fluid and energy can be vice versa. Um, for this reading, I'm going to do what I normally do. I'll take a card from the Guardian Angel deck, one from the Romance Angels and one from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And then I'll do some tarot to end. Start with Gemini. Tell me what I need to do for Gemini, 15th to the 21st. You've got quite a few. Normally I put them back, but we'll go. We'll go with it. So the one on the bottom is the Guardian of Action, which is um, the King of Wands. And that talks about it's time for you to step up and be a leader. It's all about you having leadership skills. They're being called into action. It's your moment in the sun. So move into the light, shine for all to see. It's about a person who is charisma, is inspiring, enjoys a challenge and loves the spotlight. That's on the bottom. I feel like you've been through a situation that was very dishonest or deceptive or someone was acting strategic as well. Um, I don't feel like you want to let that go, though. You don't want to release that yet. I feel like you need to break a cycle with this person um, as well. The others of you, um, you've got seven in, of pinnacles in reverse. So there's definitely slow progress being made, um, some impatience as well for some of you. You've got the two of action, which is the two of wands. You're doing some future planning. You're assessing your life. Um, you need to trust in your ability to make great choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavours. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. And the other card that fell out was messenger of emotion. It's the beginning of a new emotional experience. This is... Um, the page of cups so this is like a new love somebody younger than you um, it's about trusting your intuition so the beginning of a new emotional experience that could lead into something deeper you may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know were developing a social invitation could soon be on its way to you there's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindness of intentions it could be you especially if you're artistic shy and sensitive but yeah normally it's somebody who's a bit immature so they might be more, a bit more immature than you um somebody younger okay gemini these cards keep coming out i feel like there's no communication with somebody and maybe that was the person that hurt you you're in separation with this person as well um maybe there was a lack of passion in the situation um but you are going to have a new love you need to work on your codependency whether you've got addiction some sort of addiction or whether it's about being codependent i just saw 333 um maybe look that up and also 331 and because that was the time i noticed it um also let your friends help you um, ask for and, and accept support from others. If you need support, maybe after a breakup, maybe reach out and ask and have that social support with your friends. That's what they're there for. Okay, can I have a card for Gemini, please? The 15th to the 21st. New life. I feel like you're finally getting off the roundabout. You're the round and round and round with the same person or different people, but same energy, the same, like you're breaking cycles. I remember saying over here, you're breaking cycles. Um, and I feel like you are. I feel like you are going to get off this, you know, the round and round and round in a situation, which is great. You're learning and progressing, which is great. And you are going to end up having a new life also, which is great. So that's all about birth of new ideas, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, um, new energy enters old relationships and new, new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. It's a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion and hearts full of joy. 
It's a very auspicious sign with this card with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. So as I said, you've got a new life coming in. Like I feel like you're putting the past in the past. And maybe the new life is with somebody that's younger than you, as I said. And you've got new love over here, you know. So I feel like you've definitely got a new life and new love. But we'll get more information and then we'll clarify. Tell me more for Gemini, 15th to the 21st. Your heart chakra, you need to heal your heart chakra. Make sure it's balanced. But, I mean, that's also about self-love. It's about love with other people. Um, I feel like you were indecisive and stuck and in denial about a situation that you needed to release. And I feel like this definitely involves somebody who is dishonest and deceptive and strategic and doing was doing wrong by you. But you are walking away or you have walked away from that situation. You feel like you've got lack of hope and it's like not the right time for something. Um, the situation could have just been a lost opportunity. Maybe they were all talking no action, but you have, you have ended the situation with somebody and are working on you now. Um, you're still wanting some sort of personal closure. But you are going to have a new beginning that will lead to fulfillment of wishes, which is great. And it's like the obstacles and challenges are over. You're going to just be by yourself right now and rest and rejuvenate all those things. But as I said, new beginnings. New beginnings, new life, new love. you got all the new kind of cards. Which is great. Gemini, tell me about the heart chakra. Somebody was probably with a third party. There was some sort of third party involved. Um, could have been gossip as well. Could also be you're spending time by yourself. But there's definitely three's a crowd. And as I said, this person was probably a distraction or there was some sort of missed opportunity. They were keeping secrets. This card and this card are actually the same. One's in reverse, one's upright. This is them being dishonest and deceptive. This, this is them... Keeping secrets. And it's caused you anxiety and fear and worry and stress and overactive mind, nightmares. You maybe have trouble sleeping. All those things. Oh, shit. I didn't put a card out. Oh, no. I haven't done it yet. Okay. So I'm with it now. So tell me about the deception and envy for Gemini. Deception and envy. I feel like someone's resisting the change. They're being stubborn. They want long-term security, but they're resisting the change. They're resisting walking away from somebody that's like a devil energy, doing wrong by them. And this person, they weren't offering you your wishes fulfilled. They possibly had other options. There's the three of cups again. Just focus on your friends, get out there, that kind of thing. Focus on becoming more financially independent as well, self-sufficient. There's a lack of hope. Um, you want things now, but it's not the right time. You need to do some self-healing as well. You're feeling exhausted and burnt out and stuck. But you're up in your head about it for sure with the Eight of Cups, uh, Eight of Swords. Um... I feel like there's conflict, disagreements, you don't know where you stand, you could be going to court with this person. <coughs> you could have somebody, or this could be you, somebody who's very reliable, patient, an animal lover, hardworking, sensible, trustworthy, cautious. Somebody may, actually that's swords, oh my god it's swords, I didn't even see it, it was a knight of swords. This is about someone coming in, being very 
determined and strong and ambitious and they are taking action they're coming at you with communication maybe they want to talk and you've got the death card some sort of ending to a situation yeah you need to focus on your self-worth as i said and then things are going to start getting better for you with the sun card this is about material happiness joyous outcome success things are going to get better it's just at the moment as i said you are going to have a new life someone's going to come at you with an offer and that's that card i just read a minute ago that's the reliable patient animal lover sensible hardworking, trustworthy i feel like this is the new life so i feel like let me find that card you're going to have fulfillment of wishes. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to have a new life with somebody who's possibly younger than you. Um, you've got a new love. You're finally getting off the roundabout with the old. Um, and I think that was it. Yeah. And then the sun card. All really great cards. New life, new love, joyous, happy outcome, material happiness, success. Like everything's really, really good. You're going to go through crap right now, but just know that everything is going to get better. You are going to have a new life with new love. You are going to have your wishes fulfilled. You know, what more could you want? And it's all going to be successful and you're going to be happy. End of reading. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope it resonates. I mean, good luck if it does. I think it's awesome. And um, I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching, um, Gemini. I'll catch you later. Bye.